about jackets and coats. Now these are really the investment pieces in your wardrobe. There's a lot more workmanship that goes into a really good quality jacket and coat and also the fabric is a lot heavier. So there's just a lot more cost involved both in the composition and the construction of the garment. So we would tend to not have as many of them in our wardrobe. Also, I live in Australia, so we don't have a long winter and we also don't have a freezing cold winter. We hardly ever have snow. So I have 13 jackets and coats here, which I don't know how that compares to people, say, who live in the Northern Hemisphere. But these are, once again, carefully curated and a lot of them are items that I've had for quite a long time and I do wear all of them. They are something that I have invested in. I've waited for the sales and so that I've actually got the best quality garment that I could afford by actually getting them on sale. They are the outerwear, so they're really the first thing that anybody sees when you're out and about. So they have to actually obviously do their job of keeping you warm as well as actually presenting you to the world. So most of my outerwear is in sort of neutral colours, just so that then they can go with the most items. So I'm going to start off first with the trench coat. This is from an Australian brand called Portman's. And it's a really great trench. It's a beige colour, which obviously just goes with everything. This really is worth its weight in gold. This coat is brilliant. I, I really do see what all the fuss is about. It's just beautifully designed, and as you can see, fully lined. It just feels amazing. It's really good for those in between weather. This is just a classic, so I highly recommend getting a trench coat one. And it's actually got this sort of corset detail at the back, which I just thought was a really nice feature. And I can even button it up. And then it's a bit more like an A-line skirt, so it really does act like outerwear. And this one is a little bit lighter than the Portman's one. Definitely that one was something that's a little bit more heavier, but this one is just great. Really, really like it. I've actually worn it a lot. And this leather jacket was here. It was in red or black. So I thought I'd get it in black because that would be something that would be a little bit more versatile. But if you can see on the edges, you can see that this is very well worn and it was my only jacket for a long time. I actually got the strap caught in the car door one time, so it was a little bit grey, but I just think that just adds to the whole patina of it. But yeah, this is just fantastic. This is not going anywhere. This is like my life jacket, I think. It cost me $200, which was pretty reasonable for a knee length full leather jacket and yeah I'd say it's probably about 10 cents a wear by now. Then I just found this one in Lop Shop. It's really really lightweight. It is actually Italian I think. It's called RS. I've never heard of that brand before and it's a little bit tight like I don't think I could button it up but that's okay. It's really just to go over something. It creases like crazy even if I iron it it won't look much better than and even if I did iron it within seconds, it would start to crease. So I've just accepted that's just the look. But it is really well made. And I really like this kind of peplum look at the back and the fact that it's open and it just kind of scoops out like that. So this cost me $15 in an op shop. It would have cost a lot more if I had bought it brand new. And it is really nice just as a light outer layer, like when I'm wearing jeans on the weekend or whatever, I think it's more of a casual look. But I think that this is the type of jacket that I need to look for rather than a double-breasted jacket or even an oversize. I just think this is the sort of thing that would suit me. I actually got this for free. Oh, it's been probably close to 20 years ago. Being knee length, it just really elevates an outfit rather than just being a normal denim jacket. But I just really love it. I know it's denim on denim, so I do tend to wear it with jeans, but it's just fantastic. And it really does provide great coverage. You could actually wear it all buttoned up, 
but for some reason I've lost my tie, so I've had to get another belt to go with it. But yeah, this is just great. I've had this jacket for years and it's not going anywhere. I haven't lost my tie. Here it is. Found it, so I can tie this. Good to know. This one is my really good winter jacket. So it's from an Australian company called Forever New. And they make beautiful clothes. So it's really, really thick. I don't know if you can see, but oh dear, I can just feel the weight of it. It is wool and it's beautifully made, beautifully lined, and it's got this fur shawl. So it is actually removable, but I've never removed it. It's just beautiful. It's got buttons and then here it's double breasted so I can button it up and then it's got a tie here. Just fantastic. I think it cost me something like $30. Once again, it was on sale and then I had a voucher and it just kind of, by the time I ended up having to part with some money, it wasn't very much to just get this magnificent jacket. So this would be my keeping me warm in winter jacket that I would wear to work or if I was going out in the evening in winter and it's nothing is coming through here. Like it really just stops all the cold and keeps me warm. But I just really love it. And I think with this sort of biscuit oatmeal colour, it just goes with everything. And I actually wore this travelling through Europe in October and a little bit in April as well. So this is like shoulder season. I this would not be warm enough in Europe in winter. But it was great for travelling. In those shoulder seasons. So obviously I wore a lot of jeans when I was traveling and this is just fantastic. It did actually have different colored buttons. I think they were gold. So I just got rid of them and then I just changed it for the red and that was just, just made it a lot better, just not drawing attention to the buttons. And then also I think these buttons are much higher quality than the ones that they came with. But yeah, this is just fantastic as well. Really, really love this one. And it's a nice length and it just goes with jeans. So it just covers everything that you need to. But particularly when you're traveling, I just think I didn't really want a big, long jacket. You know, you just sort of want to be able to walk over bridges and walk down the street without having to worry about all this extra length down the bottom. So yeah, this is just a great sort of winter in Australia jacket, but sort of um, autumn or spring jacket for Europe. If it does rain, then I will be all protected, but you can still see my outfit underneath. It's just so lightweight, really, really easy. I haven't actually worn it yet, but I will. And it goes down just below my knee, and honestly, it's just fantastic. Really, really well made. Got a whole lot of detail here and lightweight, waterproof. You know, if you're going to a waterfall or something, or you're just traveling and it happens to rain, it won't take up a lot of room in your suitcase, but it does the job. And the good thing about it, too, is you can just fold it up into this little bag so it would really fit well in a suitcase. It's just a brilliant idea. I just really like it. Beautiful soft weather leather. It's just been so well made, and I really like how it just sits at the hips, which is just perfect for wearing with jeans. It's got some nice hardware on it, and I really like wearing this one. It's just a little bit softer than black, which I'm finding that as I'm getting older, I just want to get away from black because I do think around my face it's very harsh. It's fairly neutral. It's got silver hardware. Yeah, this is just fantastic. It's not leather, but that's okay because I don't wear it that often. It's not like I need it to be leather. You didn't, if I didn't tell you it wasn't leather, you probably wouldn't know. It's really hard wearing. I've had it for quite a while. But then this is just really nice just to have those dusty pink tones, which goes with a lot of clothes that I wear. And I have actually worn this a lot as well. Once again, I just really like how it just sits at the hips 
and that just covers the top half and then if I've got jeans on the bottom half I'm warm enough you know it's not for a deep winter but once you've got your gloves and your hat and your boots and everything else on it's fine but yeah this was available in a lot of different colours but I was going through a bit of a grey phase at that stage and I just thought grey would be a really nice neutral and it's just fantastic, it really keeps me warm and I really like the whole puffer jacket look, it's really a lot more casual and then with this belt here it just kind of gives you a little bit of a shape and it's got a hood, fur lined hood as well, you can zip it all the way up yeah, it's just fantastic. So I would wear this a lot with leggings or tracksuit pants if I was just walking around. I don't think I've ever really worn it sort of more dressy. I, te I tend to wear other things more dressy, but this was just fantastic. It really is more like my walking in winter jacket. If you like my content and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next week. We're going to be looking at bags that are classic, elegant and fun.